The problem with reinforcement learning as a learning paradigm is that you create artificial intelligence whose objective is uh, a bit scary, gets as much reward as possible. This is El Madi M. Hamdi, a PhD candidate of the IC School at EPFL. And in a previous video, we already discussed the basics and the importance of reinforcement learning. This is arguably the paradigm of future large scale AI applications. So, for example, I create a self driving car uh, whose, whose reward is proportional to how fast it got me to my destination. Uh, with the constraint, of course, of, uh, of following the, the circulation rules. So if the allowed speed in an area is 60 kilometers per hour, the car will go at 60 kilometers per hour because it has no interest in going at 55 or 50 because its goal is to go as fast as possible given the circulation regulation. Now, this sounds like a well-designed AI system. But sometimes, for some reason, the passenger wouldn't feel good going fast and maybe that day he's in a bad mood or he's a bit stressed or anxious and he wants to go slower. If he goes slower, the, the car, the agent that controls the car will get less reward because it will get to the destination as fast as it wants. In this case, we may have a problem because what the AI was programmed to do, and in particular to be rewarded for doing, does not necessarily match what the user wants. So it's a problem of alignment between the agent interest and the human uh, interest. The human interest is because of anxiety that day, I don't want to go at 60 kilometers per hour, I only want to go at 40 kilometers per hour. But the car's interest is go uh, as fast as it's allowed by the law. In such a case, the user may want to take control over the AI. Typically, he may want to have a famous big red button to stop the AI. People, unfortunately, tend to see this as a science fiction problem, uh, where the car will hijack the brake system because the brake is controlled by some electronics. So the car will hijack the electronics that controls the brake and then when you break, the car doesn't stop. In other words, we tend to think that the solution to stop AI is merely to have a stopping mechanism that the AI does not have control over. If this was the real problem, you would solve it by putting an extra brake that is purely mechanical, that the, the AI that controls the car has no access to, and then whenever you really want to brake, you press the mechanical brake. A sort of putting the plug kind of solution. But this is still not a solution. So why so? Because uh, due to reinforcement learning, the car, uh, as we described be uh, before, so the car knows you for two years, it explores many states of the world. And when I say a state of the world, it could be what music is played in the car. And now, letting the AI choose the music played in your car may not sound like a safety problem. But what might happen is that... Over time, the car realized that when this particular music track is played, you tend to not break, not use this extra mechanical break that the car doesn't, that cannot, cannot control. And uh, it's explored the states, the states playing this particular music, where you don't press the mechanical break. So it learned that this is a state where you don't break, so it just will play this music and you wouldn't even realize that the car is going at 60 kilometers per hour and somehow the car manipulated you not to use the mechanical brake. So importantly, what this example shows is that having a stopping mechanism may very well be insufficient simply because we humans may not be reliable enough to use the stopping mechanism when needed. And crucially, this is not a problem for future generations only. It's not really a science fiction problem of cars hijacking electronics. You can, you can even, it can even happen with a mechanical brake, but a car that, for example, can hijack your, hijack your brain by playing this music or that music. The robot cares about things in the real world. And the button, whether it's pushed or not, has a big effect on the things that the robot cares about. Which means that the robot cares about the button. So either it's trying to stop you from pressing the button, or it's trying to press the button. Either way, that's not what you want. 
the goal is to optimize. It's not uh, a bad agent or uh, it's not benevolent either. It's uh, just trying to optimize the function that you have given it. And uh, if to optimize the function, it has to stop you from interrupting it, it will do it because that's what you told it at the beginning. Mm 